Hello, I'm guest. This is Wade, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys what the grammar is in terms of flex and Y code and Python code, of course. So, basically, uh, grammar is just like the one we have in language, right? Uh, it's the way in which you're going to be entering stuff to the computer. So, uh, when you're doing this, you're like basically telling the computer that, you know what, this is the kind of input you're going to get. And to do that, you just like say, uh, for, uh, let's, let's take an example for this. So let's say 12 plus 5 equal 17. So in this case, you're telling the computer that there's going to be this kind of inputs. But the computer does not really go with the kind of, uh, stuff you've entered. It's going to be like, hey, that's, that's a 12. So I'm definitely going to get a 12 at the beginning, but that's not the case really. I mean, the end goal here is to get uh, the computer to recognize any kind of equation. So let me write that. Recognize any kind of equation. Okay, so this is not going to work because there's a there's a number there. So that's like hard coded. So what do we do? So we use tokens, and that's pretty good, right? You just enter a token here, and that's good. But then again. We got different kinds of operations. We got now this is a little bit weird because we got this. So we tackle that as well by using the op token. You can just say operation, and that's good, right? You can just say, you know what? There's going to be a number, then there's going to be an op, which is an operation, and then there's going to be a number again. And at the end, there's going to be another number saying that that this is the uh, the the result. Right? And of course there's gonna be an equal. So let's just make it a token as well. There we go. Yep, that's pretty awesome. But if you guys take a look at the problem here, let me try that. This is pretty good. This can be done. But let's say we got this. Now that's a problem. Oh yep, so that's a problem, right? Because the previous thing we did was it, it was going to be a num, an op, uh, which is going to be plus, then a number again, then an eq here that's equal, and a number. So this, this part is all good, but this part, yeah, that does not make sense because we've got like three of these, there's just one. So what you're going to do is basically pop it up. Let's say, you know what, guys, it's not going to be num, it's going to be num plus, that's going to be an op. And there's going to be another number. But the problem here is this works for this, but now it does not work for this. And that's bad because we want both of them. So we're going to find the logic and we're going to make this the smart thing, like a smart thing here. So let's look at this. So essentially, this and this, pretty much the same thing, right? There's a number, there's an operation, and a number again. So we do a smart thing and make another token, which is based on tokens. So I'm going to call this a statement, and let's say, let's say you call it STMT, and this statement is going to have multiple kinds of tokens. So let's say a statement is essentially a number, operation, and a number, and that's, this thing works right. I mean, you can just go ahead and say, hey, this is essentially a number, an op, and a number. So that's a statement. And the same thing goes for here. But again, there's a problem because as you can see, it's a number, op, and a number like this. You're making the statement, but again, there's 17 here. So you go ahead and say, you know what? It can be a number, op, and a number, but it could also be just a number. So you can just go ahead and now, this is good, this is all good because it's a number, there's a number, uh, uh, th th there's a statement, there's a statement, and you know what, statement can be a number as well. So this thing is now good for this and this. Let's go a little bit further, and let's see if this is like concrete enough. So let's check for something even bigger. Okay, and let's say, all right, so in this case, if you take a look at this, there are like four of those. But 
you can just go ahead and say, you know what this, we know what that is, that's a number, operation number, so I'm just going to call it a statement. Then again, you can do the same thing for this, right? So uh, let's do it slowly one by one. So this is going to be up, num, up, num. So this op is this plus, and these three are these three, the number operation number. There's going to be an EQU, and again, uh, oops, number. Oops, yep, there we go. So that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and ex uh, simplify it by just replacing this again with statement. So this, copy it, paste it, and then just replace this. That works. And this thing, it's simple, right? It's just, what is it? It's basically just number off number, which could be a statement. So let's replace it as well. Now the fun part. This says statement, operation statement, but you're going to be like, hey, that's not possible, right? Because there's a number, op, and a number. There's no statement, op, statement. But check again. A statement could possibly be a number, and that's that's going to be true, right? Because 12 plus 5 is essentially a number. It's going to be 17. So uh, this one, of course. So it's going to be 17. So that is essentially a number afterwards. So it could be classified inside of this. And you can just say there's a number and there's a number. So a number up and a number are going to be a statement again. So you just delete it. And that again is true. So what you can deduct from this is that let's say you have a big ass computer program and you want the program to know that the type of input is always going to be a mathematical equation. You can just go ahead and say, hey, this is the kind of stuff you got to look for. And the computer is going to go all the way in, and it's going to like expand this, and it's going to see, hey, is that a statement? And it is one, so it's going to go further and say, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I like it. It's the one I'm looking for, and that that's pretty much for the grammar part. And you can just go ahead and deduct this. You can do it. There are a lot of exercises online, and you can do that as well. And uh, if you guys have like any questions about this thing, you can definitely give me a uh, drop a comment down in the comments, uh, but. Make sure that the comments are uh, based on this, and you can even get like stuff on the internet about this. So, thanks for watching.